Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. The Bayhawks have acquired Penn State guard Tony Carr while releasing E.C. Matthews earlier today. The 22-year-old Philadelphia native Carr was the 51st overall pick, a second rounder back in the 2018 NBA draft, and the Penn State All-American will look to boost that Bayhawks backcourt. Meanwhile, the Bayhawks were back home for the first time of the 2020 campaign in the blue running. The floor, Devon Akun Purcell. Lays it in nicely. What a last name, too, as he finished with a team-high 20 points. Erie answers, though, with three-pointers. The first coming from Aubrey Dawkins. And then the next trip down, Bronson Koenig pulls up, pulls the trigger, buries the three. Minutes later, Josh Gray, who's having an outstanding season in the G League, would dribble drive and score two of his 21 points. Nicely done. And on the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, Erie goes on to edge Oklahoma City 109 to 107. Jalen Adams leading the way with 23 points for Erie. Cheatham and Gray each chipping in with 21 points apiece. On the OHL scoreboard, the Otters pick up their second straight win on the road, knocking off Kingston 6 to 3 tonight. Daniel Singer with two goals and an assist. Max Golaw with a pair of goals as well. Chad Yetman recording a three point night with three helpers and then more hot. And some trouble for the Mercier's men on the road to the collegiate level. They fall 4 0 at Holy Cross tonight. Same two teams are back at it tomorrow night at 7 05 on the road. Let's head down to Meadville for night one of the annual Tool City tournament at 160 pounds. Eli Crum of Boiling Springs picking up the victory by pinning Elijah Schreiber of General McLean. will stay at the 160 pound weight class. This time it's Cambridge Springs Colton Smith versus Ian Brandstetter. Of North Allegheny and Smith advances to the next round by a major decision. Over at the heavyweights, Jordan Shell of Girard gets the, t the 7 0 win, I should say, over Duran of Clearfield. We'll go back to the 170 pound weight class. This time it would be Eli Wasconi of Cambridge Springs pinning Kyle McDivitt of Cochranton. The tournament will continue and conclude Saturday night from Meadville.